Good morning, guys, and welcome to pre update. I'm just with Mummy here, and she's just taking pill. And she's all showered and ready for pre op testing. And I've been out all night being a naughty Margaret because I didn't come in. And now I'm being a pain because now I've been pointed out that I didn't come in, so I had to spend most of the night out last night in the outside cat run. It's a little house, by the way, in case people think I'm being. Um, and it was quite warm last night still. It was very rainy, but you did have a cat shelter, didn't you? Under the carport, and you've got your own little wooden house with a little door that you can go in. So it's not as bad as you're making it seem by not looking at the camera. Yeah, so this is the human side of getting ready for pre op testing, guys. The hair is washed, the body is washed, showered, and I need to clean my teeth and feed the cats, and we'll go this morning. What went on when we went to the preoperative department uh, a few, well, about a week and a half ago now. So uh, I'm all, um, as far as we know, cleared for surgery. Um, but uh, I've got to uh, do a lateral flow test. Um, the three days before the surgery itself and then uh, isolated and I'm already as isolated as I can be anyway because of the carers and then uh, on the day of surgery I've got to do another lateral flow test and take that actual test up with me to the hospital so um, uh, I'm hoping that I don't have any further problems. Uh, I've got a lot of paperwork here, which I'll actually take the time, well, at least discuss with you about. Um, it was a uh, basic, well, basic sur surgical admission paperwork and uh, I've got to take time to read all of this even though it should be a non-complicated uh, surgery this time showing the spontaneous anything because you say this every time but I'm about to be pulled off um, so I've got this large piece of paper here that's got my name and unit number on it and a lot of telephone numbers presumably to have had them down or coded and then it tells you all um, what to do on the day of your surgery but I think I've done that uh, I've done that so many times now I think I could actually I mean to say do it in my sleep would be a bit sort of but you know, no pun intended. But I um, probably um, could. I think I know some of the instructions better than the nurses themselves. So um, uh, mm. I've got to, well, I've begun washing with a um, anti, well, a very strong antibacterial soap as well because I, jury of juries tested positive for staph aureus, which is a bacteria that a lot of people carry on their skin. And I have suspected for a while I've had something not 
massively infected because I haven't felt brilliant, but I haven't felt utterly hideous like when I had a thermal infection or anything. But I wanted to, um, I thought there was something low grade lurking, so um, I've been making sure the like where the tube goes into my abdomen is properly um, cleaned and like where the back and pumping system goes cleaned and I am utterly cleaned and pleased and sterilised. This is turning into quite a bit of work for care staff but um, we're doing some uh, interesting experiments for Chelsea. Every time we think we've solved the problem with the uh, compass of the thing, something happens and, uh, and then it doesn't sort of work out how I um, wanted it to, but uh, I've ordered another pussy for £10 and this is the last stitch attempt now and the, the air cushion was very good once I took some air out of it, but because I haven't got a stable pair of if they put it in wrong, you can slip tools. Um, and I, um, I can't think of an other way of doing this, and I need to go somewhere where you can have trials of things. You don't seem to be able to get trials of equipment through social services or um, the NHS even, it's just kind of virtuous and um, I don't think uh, the occupational therapy department actually apply the measuring tape to the child chair because when you actually look at the satyr there's so much space and like the whole of the chair is so like on the other side of my hips that it pushes against the hip rotator cuff crease which makes me spasm and it's just not a comfortable kettle of fish at all so um well anyway so um the long and short of it is i've got to wash and rinse like um soap stuff that dries your skin like something um ridiculous you also have to wash your hair in it so it, my hair looks like a sprite as well and then they give you a cream to put up your nose to eradicate the bugs from there so um i i've made strenuous efforts to um make sure it's dry rooted and i can only start making them pregnant as soon as the beans are hatched and I uh, won't touch them. Um, that said, uh, I shall uh, see you in my next video. I'm going to do, I think, a bit of a time lapse part video this week and I've also got the two book videos which I might film when I'm in bed somewhere because the care is over here in a minute. I know it's only 5 p.m. in the evening, but I uh, do enjoy getting to put to bed now, so I'll film them in bed. Uh, and I'll just uh, keep the top on for the night. The um, um, nice shirt on for the weekend. So, um, well, I'm hoping to see you guys in my next video. This week I also had a hospital If the boiler keeps losing I'm pressure, we're going to have to call a professional registered person in. So uh, that will be clinic. Um, and we will got probably there do next week. Discover the chair has been in storage for about four months and nobody's actually done anything to it yet. So I have to go back on Friday.